Good day, students. My name is uh, Mr. Naman, a math teacher for JS3. Today we are going to enter week six. And this week six is the last topic or the last week we have for the teaching before you enter into your basic uh, certificate exam. And the topic we want to look at is uh, construction. But we will focus mostly on a construction of angle 90, 45, 60 degrees, and 30 degrees. My belief is that uh, I, at the end of this lesson, at least the majority of you should be able to know how to construct angle 90 degrees, 45, 60, and 30 degrees. The material we are going to use in doing this a ah, ruler and I know each and every one of you knows what a ruler is this is a ruler meter rule you can see that the meter rule is calibrated in inches and in cm but we are going to use only cm another one is a protractor this is a protractor this one is a protractor joint with a ruler. This one is another protractor. If you look at the protractor very well, you see that it is a half of a circle and it is calibrated from 0 to 180 clockwise and also calibrated 0 to 180 anti-clockwise. Then, another one is a pair of compass. Pair of compass is uh, this one now that has a pencil on it and that is the one we are going to be using in drawing an arc. Arc is just a thing of this kind. It's an uh, arc. How do we construct angle 90? What you will just do is that uh, you will just draw any straight line of your choice of any length. If you like, you do make it 5 cm, 6 cm, 10 cm, as the case may be. Then, you will mark at the center. At that center now, you can see what I'm going to do. You will use this protractor to make a semicircle, if you wish, by putting the pointed end at the line I have just made and make sure that the pencil touches the line, either by the right side or by the left side. You move it. If you move it to touch the line, the other side, you will have a thing of this kind, which is like a semi-circle. Then the next thing you will do is that uh, you will place the pointed end at the one end of the, the semi-circle and allow it to touch the semicircle. If it touch, you will have a thing of this kind. You put it this side and you will have something of this uh, kind. When you place it here, you have another one. Place it here, you have another one. You now join down. If you now join down, what it means is that uh, from this straight line, vertical line to this place, has made angle 90 degrees, likewise the other side. And you, that is exactly what I'm demonstrating here. You can see my line, A to C. B is the middle. But what I want to do is that the angle RBA will be equals to angle RBC. And that is exactly what happens here. If you feel like what I have just demonstrated, if you do it, you will reach at a point like this, which is now angle 90. Then, if you want to know exactly whether what you have constructed, that is to say A, B, R, that is angle that is here, makes angle 90, or C, B, R, angle that is here is also 90 degrees. You can see it here. If I want to know whether my result is correct, 
I will use a protractor like this and place it and ensure that the, this line you are seeing here covers the, the vertical line I have constructed. You will see that uh, it will be straight to angle 90, which means that this angle here is 90. This angle here is uh, 90 degrees. Then angle 45. One, we now begin to imagine how do we say 90 before 45? The reason is that uh, you cannot construct angle 45 without constructing angle 90. And that's why I said angle 45 is a half of angle 90 degrees. And uh, if you follow the rule or the steps we used in constructing angle 90, then to construct angle 45, what you will do is that you will place this protractor at this point and allow it to touch the horizontal line and you move upward to touch the vertical line. Then you place it here again and allow the pencil to be anywhere at this uh, open space. You make this uh, arc and place it back here. You make the other arc. The place where the two arcs meet, you now draw a straight line. And what it means is that you have divided the 19 to 2 equal part. But in a construction, we normally use a technical word, bisect, which means bisection is the same thing as a division. If you now want to know whether what you have done is correct, you still use a protractor and place it like this. You will see that this line will be at the top of 45 degrees, which means from here to here is 45, from here to here is uh, 45. Then, angle 60. If you want to construct angle 60, I say draw a horizontal line of any length. You can see the horizontal line. Then we want to construct a point A such that Angle B is equal to 60 degrees. What do we do? We will make, this is the straight line. If you make a point here, you place your, the pointed end of a compass at this place. You move. If you move at this space here, you will have something of this kind. Then you place it back again to have uh, the one that we cut, which we normally call the, um, an intersection or a point where the two arcs joined. You can see it here where I demonstrated it. We say with center X and with the same radius. The radius is the how you open this uh, compass. If you like, you can make your own to be small. If you like, you can open it as wide as anything. I said with the same radius, in, as in two above, draw an arc. The arc is not that thing other than this line you are seeing we are doing like this is what we regard as an uh, arc to cut the first one. It has cut the first one. Then if you want to draw Angle 60, which is our main aim here, we say join AB. That is, we use a line, as you can see now, we use a line to join AB. And the angle from this line to this place, that is the angle that is inside here now is angle 60 degrees, which we can confirm by the use of a protractor. If you now place protractor here, you will see that this line here will be at the top of uh, 60 degrees, which shows you that the angle we have constructed. And that's why we say that the uh, angle, angle A, B, C is equal to what? 60 degrees. Then to construct angle 90, of angle 30 degrees, sorry, is as the same thing as uh, what we talked in angle what? 45, because 30 
is the half of uh, 60 degrees. There is no way you can construct angle 30 without constructing angle 60 first. So if you follow the rules or the steps we used in constructing construction of angle 60, thereafter, for you to bisect the angle 60, what you will do is that you will place the pointed end of this your pair of compass here and allow the pencil to touch this line and you move. You make this act, arc here. You place it back again, you make this arc. You place it back again here, you make this arc. You can now see that the two arcs now joined or intersect or meet. At that point of intersection, you use your meter rule and place it there and draw a line which means you have divided this angle 60 into two equal parts, which is uh, angle 30. If you use your protractor to measure, you will see that this line will be at the top of uh, 30 degrees, shows, showing you that the angle you have constructed is angle 30 degrees. So, you, you, with this now, one can as well construct other angles. Like if you want to construct angle 15, what it means is that uh, you are going to divide angle 30 into two equal parts. So in summary, we have showed you how angle 30, angle 90, angle 45 can be constructed. That there is no way one can construct angle 45 or angle 30 without constructing angle 90 and 60 first because 45 is a half of 90 whereas 30 is a half of a 60. For questioning, you can contact me via 0802 I remain my humble self, Mr. Namani Humphrey O. Oh, thank you very much and marry your book so that uh, by the time you go in for exam, nobody knows when this problem of COVID-19 is ending. So you have to be up and doing in your home. Go through your new general maths or project mathematics. All these things are there. With the examples I have showed you, you can able to try your best. Any place of difficulty, you can contact me through this my number. Thank you and I wish you Happy stay. to the prayers of your